after Diane Dane's, uh, after, after Legal Alliance Mafia member Diane Dane uh, uh, tried uh, or had the said Meadow Lark Minor um, assassins and racists and Illegal Alliance Mafia members tried to assassinate Luisa Oyarzun six times in five months uh, and her caretaker also. Um, they uh, planned the set scheme uh, for an illegal eviction uh, and spoke to a judge in the, at the set Lima's court uh, to go along with the illegal eviction and not put, uh, not ever put the case in the uh, computers uh, of Lima's court or the case uh, on file because it was going to be a fake uh, uh, eviction as the other six or um, uh, five times illegal evictions. Uh, and I should say that uh, um, an illegal aliens mafia member prior to this illegal eviction illegally uh, evicted her uh, while owning, owning her uh, $53,000 of uh, rent overcharge at um, 34 Highland Avenue, apartment 2 Diaz in David, Yonkers, New York, 10705, which is a government subsidized uh, building. Nevertheless, Luisa Oyarzun was being charged uh, two, two rents, almost three rents at, at a time every month. Uh, she was supposed to be paying nothing because she had Section 8, but it was sold to an illegal aliens mafia member. Live an illegal aliens mafia member living on the same floor that she lived there at 34 Highland Avenue. Uh, and uh, so she was charged na uh, uh, not the 30 percent that people who didn't have a Section 8 had to pay, but she was charged three times that, almost uh, 100, uh, 900 dollars every month. And when she refused to pay and go along with the extortion, uh, she was illegally evicted. But since she had it, uh, all the evidence, they uh, decided to kill her and her caretaker at the uh, Yonkers uh, City Court, Landlords and Tenants Court, um, uh, from which she uh, report, uh, from which uh, um, a judge. Uh, was gotten a corrupted judge uh, who was an illegal aliens mafia member, Judge Serrato, and uh, she was forced to report this judge uh, during the five other illegal evictions that he had done against Luisa Oyarzun, and uh, his, uh, he was disciplined and he was forbidden from um, ever practicing uh, there again, uh, Judge Serrato. And going back to illegal aliens mafia member Diane Dane, an assassin of American citizens, after stealing their identity and government benefits, because they have to guarantee to the illegals that they're not going to be reported or bothered by the um, owners of the identities that they sell. So they had to assassinate the uh, citizens that they steal the identities from after the, their government benefits have been processed and the illegals are getting their identity as well as their government benefits. In here she says, uh, just a quick note in response to your recent facts explained uh, the current status of each of the items mentioned. Carewood account information has been added to your SNAP account for HIP and HIP season will open in November. That means that Luisa Oyasun will have to spend September and October freezing to death. But Luisa Oyasun um, applied not only for HIP, they gave her her um, a gas assistance and electricity assistance uh, back in April 18th, 2016. However, this um, uh, assistance were sold to illegal aliens mafia members in the county as well as across the country. So uh, they uh, put her in the HIP uh, category. So she's getting HIP as well as uh, electricity, as the electricity assistance and the uh, gas assistance that she's entitled to get uh, by law after working many years, dozens of years in this country and paying her taxes and being an excellent citizen, citizen and contributing to her um, social security benefits from which the said illegal aliens mafia members stole $13,000 and she's still waiting for, for them to give it back. 
through falsification of uh, records, of course, as they always do. It says here, National Grid shut off. If you need assistance with this, you uh, must come to the agency to apply for emergency assistance. She already went to the agency, and one of the schemes that the illegal aliens mafia members, as Diane Dane, uh, like Diane Dane, uh, uh, get involved uh, in, is. Uh, getting the uh, citizens after they process their paperwork and the uh, the and they get the government benefits getting the citizens to apply over and over and over and over for the same thing and they never get it so that's one of the schemes that they uh, do and it says here possible eviction it's really strange that uh, uh, Diane Dane uh, is mentioning eviction here because we never uh, told her about the eviction that was going on with uh, her dear friends, uh, the racists at the Meadowlark Minor Community Trail, uh, Trailer Community, uh, and the the uh, 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 these people who are illi also illegal aliens mafia members and and. Um, uh, are acting as the illegal aliens mafia members who get uh, welfare benefits and uh, other uh, benefits as government jobs uh, or employment with the government uh, in exchange of uh, doing favors for the mafia, for the said mafia, like illegally evicting um, elderly citizens who reported uh, their stolen benefits stolen by their ma the said mafia. It says here, possible eviction. If you need assistance with this, you uh, must come into the agency to apply for emergency assistance. She already went into the agency and she uh, applied for um, the general assistance with uh, covers, uh, electricity, gas assistance, housing assistance, and everything. She applied for everything and she and she and they continue to say to go back and apply. Plus, Luisa Oyarzun is homebound and uh, they're supposed to do everything everything through the phone and through the USA mail. As you can see um, in this letter that I'm uh, going to show you, Luisa Oyarsun has a letter from um, her doctor, which she hasn't been able to see in the last three years because her um, medical insurance, New York State Straight Medicaid, has been sold to illegals. In this letter, it says, um, her doctor says, November 16, 2010, uh, to whom you may concern. This letter is to certify that uh, Ms. Luisa Oyarzun suffers from the following conditions, seizures, um, epilepsy, lower back pain, multiple sclerosis, degenerated joint disease, history of cervical cancer, esophageal ulcers, three of them, migraine headaches, two leaking heart valves, osteoporosis, arthritis. Um, she has uh, gone to two uh, cancer operations, cervical cancer in 1971 and in 1998. Nevertheless, the cancer came back due to the selling of her New York State trade Medicaid by the said illegal aliens mafia members working as government employees to illegals in the country. Uh, that's why she couldn't get uh, medical treatment, so her cancer came back a third time and now she's dying of cancer. On top of the illegal eviction uh, scheme and all the other schemes to continue to steal her benefits and uh, try to assassinate it uh, in the meantime. It says here she also has problems with her pancreas uh, and she's her hard of hearing. It says here, given her condition, it is imperative that she has access to a telephone as well as electricity and heat. This is because if she doesn't, her life might be at risk since she needs assistance during and after an, epileptic, uh, an epilepsy uh, episode. Additionally, additionally, please note that this patient is homebound and cannot live alone. Homebound, which means that the government employees have to accommodate Luisa Oyasson and they have to do everything through the phone and through a USA mail. And they are aware of this. So the, they will say um, after if they are ever uh, legally processed for this fraud, uh, identity theft, and elderly financial abuse that they didn't know this, but they do know because I have told them many times and they also have a lawyer that tells them uh, that this is the law. So that's not an excuse. Uh, the letter continues. Her condition puts her at risk for possible falls and subsequent bleedings for which she requires constant telephone electricity and uh, the care of her caretaker. Thank you for your attention, sincerely. Um, 
uh, Dr. Aida M. Middle Initial Soto Cruz Soto uh, MD. Uh, she's located at 200 South Broadway, Suite 104, Tarrytown, New York, 1 and 914 631 1535. And she dated uh, this letter. Um, January 25th, 2012, and January 10th, 2013. This is the last time that Lisa Yasin received uh, medical care uh, and medication besides the emergency rooms where she has been trying to uh, access in order for her to stay alive. But uh, she continues uh, with her immune system uh, very uh, low, non-existent, um, non-existent, um, almost, and continues going without medication and without um, the uh, her government benefits uh, or, or the stolen um, New York State trade Medicaid from her. Uh, and as you can see, uh, these people are. Uh, these illegal aliens mafia members continue uh, after Luisa's throat, Luisa Oyarsson's throat, and continue going after her to kill her. We have uh, contacted uh, Amnesty International Human Rights, which Diane Dane uh, was involved with, ironically and cynically, and uh, no government agencies, including the inspector generals or the attorney generals, have been uh, wanting to do anything regarding that because they know the assassination uh, of American citizens is uh, uh, abundant and they don't want to get involved because everybody gets their piece of pie from that. Uh, it says here prescription drug coverage, prescription are covered by Medicare Part D, not Medicaid. Um, this is true, but uh, the Medicare Part D doesn't cover certain uh, prescription drugs which Medicaid by law have to cover it and have been cover it, covering it for the last um, uh, dozens of years. Luisa Oyarsson has, Luisa Oyarsson's Medicaid is 12 years old approximately and it has always covered the uh, medications that um, the Part D doesn't cover. Now they come up with different um, schemes and different lies saying that uh, uh, Luisa Oyarsson's Medicaid only works at certain times, that it works half of uh, half of, half of the uh, uh, that it is defective, that sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, a medical insurance either work or either uh, or doesn't work. There is no halfway. It's like when you're pregnant, you are either pregnant or you are not. There is no halfway. So these illegal aliens mafia uh, members working as government employees um, have um, uh, uh, planned uh, many different schemes in order to continue their trafficking of citizens' identities and government benefits. And um, this is the situation for Luisa Oyarsun, the illegal aliens mafia members member working under uh, illegal aliens mafia member and assassin Diane Dane is Deborah Fox. Uh, she was the one that signed this letter, which is very strange because many times they don't sign any letters because they don't. They know that they are uh, breaking the law and um, committing falsification of federal, state, and legal records, and they don't want to put their names on it. But apparently, uh, this person has been assured that they are. Um, above the law because they are government employees and their friends who are also government employees and who are in charge of processing them for violating the law will never do so because they are also law violators. So um, we will continue to educate you and tell you about this uh, American citizens genocide being committed by illegal aliens mafia members who work as government employees, specifically for the Department of Social Services for the uh, Social Security Administration offices and for the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. Um, and incidentally, I should mention that uh, the commissioner who is in charge of the uh, Northeast region of, uh, of um, the country is Beatrice, uh, this man, B-E-A-T-R-I-C-E, this man, D-I-S-M-A-N, she is the one that is running the uh, 
falsification of um, medical records and federal records at the Social Security Administration offices through her, the commissioners that are working under her because she's the boss of all the commissioners uh, of the Social Security Administration offices. Uh, so uh, she's the one that tells them what to falsify, what not to falsify, and how to continue the trafficking of citizens' identities and government benefits after they have killed many millions of American citizens um, uh, and uh, after selling their identities and government, government benefits. Uh, incidentally, this is in conjunction with the uh, hundreds of thousands of um, uh, re uh, Muslim refugees uh, that have been uh, pouring into the country and given uh, full cover welfare benefits uh, courtesy of the taxpayers uh, and full cover medical care as well as full cover medication uh, for them and their uh, family members.